Hi everybody, Robert Dyer and welcome, welcome to the Robert Dyer channel after Christmas, Christmas countdown. We're going all the way through January 6th, which is the official end of the Christmas season. And today I have another limited edition product. I think this is actually coming out for January at 7-Eleven. These are Blueberry Glazed Mini Donuts. Now I believe I did review a Krispy Kreme Glazed Blueberry Donut before and it got very high ratings so the bar is set high. Speaking of setting the bar high, we have the official drink of Christmas 2018. The Merry Mashup Mountain Dew. I'm wearing the original Mr. Rogers sweater of the Robert Dyer channel for this episode. In case you thought it was going to disappear, it's still here. Just getting used a bit less as it gets older. You've been seeing a different jacket during the Christmas countdown. I don't know how many people have noticed, but these are some of the small trivia questions. Did anyone notice I was wearing Tarnation Bob's glasses in the last video? Or was it Tarnation Bob posing as me? That's something for you to contemplate as I bring out this donut. Definitely a blueberry aroma and I can see a blueberry there. Good amount of glaze there drizzling down the sides. You've got uh, filling the hole there in the center. Let's go ahead and see how it tastes. I like the fact that it's purple there in the center and I'm actually tasting actual fruit blueberries in this donut. And by that I mean there's actual little pieces of blueberry to add some extra texture to it. It's time we examine the curious case of Cornflake S. Peshley, manufacturer or monster. We already know from his many appearances on Mr. Rogers' Neighborhood that his factory had a boiler room. Now reading this book. I learned that Fred Rogers' childhood nickname was Freddy. What's more, the more I examine the photographs, the more I can't help but notice that Cornflake especially is a dead ringer for Fred Rogers himself. Take a look at his face. The factory's been abandoned for almost 20 years. There might still be victims inside, maybe even some of R. Kelly's ex-girlfriends. I'm leading an expedition to the factory. Who's going with me? What's your name? How do you spell that? What's your name? How do you spell that? You're going to need a crucifix, a change of socks and underwear, and duct tape. This is going to get bigger ratings than hunting Hitler. Well, I can say these had more physical, actual fruit in them than the Krispy Kreme ones. However, the thickness and richness of the glaze it did seem like I was getting less of a powerful glaze flavor to it and the cake is fairly moist but it's still drier significantly drier than the Krispy Kreme donut so I would say if you pick these up at 7-eleven you're probably going to be satisfied if you want a blueberry glazed donut but if you have the option of uh, your grocery store or drugstore carrying the Krispy Kreme store products uh, I would definitely pick that blueberry glazed donut 
over this. However, this is more of a portable. Uh, you might not want to get a big box of six large donuts if you're traveling somewhere. So that's another thing and the advantage of this product. I'm going to go ahead and give this a very solid three stars. Satisfactory. Hope you like this video. Share it with your friends. Please subscribe and I'll see you again tomorrow on this Christmas countdown. Bye everybody.